Let's Iowa, where the Louisa Muscatine team is enjoying its first view of the state's top 10 in L&M history. Let's go to some highlights we have from there. And as you can see, fans are pumped up about that ranking. In the first quarter against Riverside Highland tonight, L&M's Ryan Diekman, who's really been on a tear of late, dishes to Lincoln Doubt for the one-hander, a six-point Falcon lead. Second quarter now, Diekman, who averages 35 a game, finds the range from three-point land. And a bit later, Paul Kissel will help the Falcon cause. A nice baseline jumper coming up. L&M wins it, 72-54, and Bill Yost and company now 15-1. and one. Bigger all the time, and so... Uh, we look at this as a great opportunity to give the school uh, a positive identity and, and let the rest of the state and, and surrounding area know a little bit more about l &L. One of the big reasons for the team's success is 6'8 forward Ryan Diekman, who averages 35 points per game, but Diekman is quick to give an assist. I think the whole success this year has been our point guard, uh, Bob Hague. He's done a really good job of dishing the ball out. And the other, other two sophomores that started have been doing a great job. And we have another senior that's been doing really well, Lincoln Dow. The 15-1 Falcons have a key matchup Friday night at Columbus. The winner will have the inside track to their conference title. While career ends, he should pump in better than 2,000 points. Dan Pearson has more. He lives in a small town, but Ryan Diekman puts up some big city numbers. The 6'8 senior averages 35 points and 12 rebounds a game for the 15-2 Falcons. But as far as Diekman is concerned, those numbers are the result of teamwork on the court and at home. Uh, my mom and dad have been a big aspect of my success. Uh, my mom goes in and rebounds for me at the YMCA in Muscatine. And my dad has dished out all the money for the camps and all that stuff I've gone to. And they've just been 100% behind me in everything I do. He doesn't have an enemy. He gets along with anybody, everybody at school. He's a good student. He has great work ethic. Uh, he does not let success go to his head. And uh, he leads by example. All the work has paid off. Diekman has already signed with South Dakota University. Diekman says he's ready for the transition from playing for a high school with 300 students to the college game. It'll be a change, that's for sure. Um, I think a lot of the camps and uh, different like summer leagues I go to and play against college guys will help me out quite a bit. By no means will he forget these days at L&M. Do you feel a certain pride in that? Uh, well, certainly I do. I, I've worked real hard for it. It's always been a goal of mine. And, uh, even, even today, it's been uh, two months now since my signing, and people are still talking about it. <laughs> and Ryan Diekman could remain the talk of this small town while he's shooting at bigger goals next year. In Let's Iowa, Dan Pearson, News Center, Six Sports.